And let me tell you how my doctor visit went today. So as you know, from my last video, I had high blood pressure. I will admit that the wrist cuff that I was using was off, but how much off, I don't know, but it was high. And I had all the symptoms of high blood pressure. I had the pressure in my head. I felt like you know, an elephant was sitting on my head and my body is just exhausted. And I have little red dots all over my face. But I, I go there, I, I had to call at eight this morning to get this appointment and they squeezed me in. I didn't see my doctor. I saw a doctor I never seen before and he's an older doctor. So I, <laughs> my mind was blown. So I'm waiting forever in the room, not the waiting room, in the room. And I can hear him. He went through two rooms and I sat in that room almost an hour and he was talking, 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 talking. So he finally comes in. Oh, let me back up a little bit. The nurse, as I'm sitting there, uh, well, when I first go in, I will say that I was waiting in the waiting room a little bit. I, I forgot about that. Yeah, I was just a little bit, maybe 15 minutes. And I'm sitting there and I'm thinking, my head doesn't really hurt right now. Watch me get back there. And it's a normal reading. And I get called back there. She does my blood pressure and guess what? It was normal. <laughs> It was 119 over 70 something. And I'm like, wow, are you serious? I said, I have every symptom that it's high. I'm a medical assistant. I need to throw that out there. So I'm familiar with the signs and symptoms of a lot of things. Then I wait in the room for an hour. And then the doctor comes in and he's like, so what's going on? And he's like, you're having a headache? And I'm like, no. <laughs> and I've had a headache for three weeks. And then I told him that, and then I told him that I've had high blood pressure readings. And he said, what the nurse indicated that they were, that you said they were, that's really out there. I should have stroked out. And I said, I realized that it wasn't actually that high. And I said, I'm a medical assistant, so I'm very aware of the signs and the symptoms. And I said, and I can tell you that it does feel high. Coughing put like tons of pressure in my head. I mean, it, it's horrible. So he's like, this this is where it gets weird. He's like, well, it, it's showing normal and the home blood pressure um, cuffs don't usually work well, but then he gave me a recommendation of one. And I said, well, here's the thing. I used the cuff that I had at home three times and then I'm thinking that's really too high. So I went to Walmart neighborhood market and did it and it was still really high. And uh, he's like, oh, but you know, so many people use that at the stores too and they're not accurate either. I'm like, okay. Then, then he gets his phone out. And before he did anything on his phone, he goes, oh, the last time you had blood work done, your blood sugar, blood sugar? Yeah, blood sugar was down really low. And I said, yeah, and I said on that day, I had drank a Monster too, just right before I had my blood drawn and it should have spiked. He didn't say nothing. And then he still has his phone in his hand and he's like still looking at the computer and he said, well, what I'm worried about is uh, your cholesterol is barely high. Maybe you need to start thinking about a high cholesterol medicine. And I looked at him and I said, I'm already on a high cholesterol medication. He looks at me and goes, oh, ha, ha, ha. And I'm like, what? And then he gets his phone and he's pecking away at it. And he goes, you're 53 female. Your blood pressure today is, well, this is your normal. And I was sitting there thinking, you're a doctor. Why did you have to put that in your phone to tell me that I'm normal? And then it still gets weird. He says, so I can give you a prescription today, but you can't take it until you see your doctor when she comes back. And I'm sitting there thinking, then why tell me you're gonna write one? Why didn't you just say, I'm not gonna write your prescription. You're gonna have to wait to see your doctor before, and then you can get one. So I go back to work and I'm still feeling okay. And I get to work and my manager has a blood pressure cuff that he recommended me. So before I used it, I used mine again. It was really high again, of course. And then I use hers and it's just a tad bit 
over, uh, the bottom number, if it's over 80, that is starting to show concern. And it was like 87, something like that. But the top number was normal. And I'm like, okay, you know, that is an indication there that, you know, to start paying attention. So throughout the whole day, I was getting uh, a slightly elevated. Uh, one time it was 90 something, 91, I think it was. And I'm like, okay, so then right before I left to go home, I got this major head pressure. It was so intense. And then the stupid thing wouldn't work. But I've been writing him down. I'm keeping notes. He told me, you know, to keep track of him until I see her and say what I'm doing and, and how I feel and all this. But today I got nauseous after I left. Oh, and that was another thing he said. He goes, so when you get home, this is how you need to do it. You sit down and you take a, a reading. And then he goes, he grabs the desk and he closes his eyes. And then I'm like, what's he doing? And then it takes slow, deep breath in and then another one out. And he did this and I'm like, oh, he must trying to tell me that I need to relax. Why couldn't he just say that? And then I'm just sitting there watching him like any day now. And he goes, and then in about three minutes, you take another one. I said, well, Saturday when I took my three at home, I was sitting down watching TV. I wasn't doing anything. I was sitting for quite a while because I didn't feel good. And I said, I didn't do housework. I didn't do anything. And he goes, oh, okay, okay. And that's all he said. And I'm like, okay, <laughs> okay. So that was my day. And I do know that before I left and it quit working for some odd reason, I know it was high because it was the worst feeling I had all day. I knew it would have been really high at that time. So I'll start over tomorrow to try to figure out what was going on or what will be going on tomorrow if my head starts hurting really bad. But when it was slightly elevated today, the few times I did take it, I felt a small pressure in my head, very small, very minimal, but I could tell the change. And that's when I took the blood pressures and it did indicate that it was rising. So that's my day. Then I get home. I will say that I am vitamin D deficient. So I took my last pill. I take one pill a week. So I took my last pill this morning. I come home and I see the bottle. And I'm like, oh yeah, I need to call and get it refilled. So I called and they said, well, it was canceled today from the provider. And I'm like, my provider is not even in the clinic today because I had to go see another doctor. And he goes, we refilled it today too but it was canceled so we can't give it to you because there's a reason why they canceled it and i was sitting there thinking well who made that decision <laughs> what the heck is going on so yes that was my day today and i did have a visit last night it just hit my head it hit my head entered my head um i did remember i had a visit but just remember i needed to tell you so i woke up for the first time all week I think once I, I didn't sleep very well all week, but for the whole week practically, I slept from the time my pills kicked in all the way until I woke up in the morning because my body was working over time, I guess. But last night I went to sleep. I don't know how long I was asleep and my eyes just go doing and I'm looking straight ahead <laughs> and it was clear, but it was like prismed and it was walking, oh, the being was walking toward me you could tell it was getting closer because it was getting bigger. And I'm like, oh, there's another one. So I kind of brought out my hand and thought, maybe it'll walk around to the side of my bed because it was at the foot of my bed. Maybe it'll walk to the side of my bed and grab my hand. And I waited and I closed my eyes because sometimes I can really feel with my eyes closed better than I can with them open. I'm sure you can relate. And sure enough, it grabbed my hand. And it, it's not like a, um, a solid grab. On some of these beings will reach and you can feel the slight pressure. And then sometimes it feels like they're reaching or going through your hand. Um, I don't know if that is exactly what they're doing. I don't know. Um, I do know that the other beings have grabbed me. It was a firm grab. 
Um, this one, I could just tell it touched my hand. And that that's all. And I remember sitting there thinking, oh my gosh, I'm so tired because my pills kicked in. And I tried to keep my eyes open, but it was really difficult. And I conked out. And sometimes I wonder, sometimes I can force myself to stay awake. Sometimes I can't. So I can't help but wonder, are they putting me back to sleep? Sometimes I'm pretty sure they are, like last night. When I opened my eyes, it seemed like when I opened my eyes and spotted it, and, and spotted it, and spot, you know where I'm going. Seeing it, I wasn't that tired, it didn't feel like. I can't remember, because it was last night. I don't remember my feeling of the way I felt. Anyway, so I wanted to share my fabulous day with you in my quick visit. And I'm going to end this video here. Please like and subscribe. I would so much appreciate it. And I love you guys tremendously. And I'm sending you love, light, and peace. Bye.